New research finds a shocking number of women just aren't getting screened when it comes to cervical cancer, and not enough of our kids are getting the vaccine that can help prevent it. In fact, less than half of women under the age of 29, fewer than two-thirds of women aged 30 to 65, are up to date on their screenings when it comes to cervical cancer. And only half of kids are getting vaccinated to actually prevent this cancer at all. So Dr. Gina Sakata with Kaiser Permanente is here this morning to talk about this really important subject. January is actually Cervical uh, Health Awareness Month. Mm -hmm. Why is it important to have a month designated to this specific cancer and this awareness? Well, in our country, 13,000 women are diagnosed with cervical cancer every year, and 4,000 of them will die of cervical cancer, even though we have really excellent screening tests, which can be done when women are asymptomatic and which can identify precancers and cancers at an early stage, at which point they can be addressed really effectively. Yeah, because it is treatable if we can get to that screening point. Yeah, so there's two different types of screening tests that women can get. And it's important for people to understand that we now know that human papillomavirus, or HPV, is the cause of almost all cervical cancers. And so the two types of screening tests that we recommend that women get, one is a test for the high-risk strains of human papillomavirus, which put women at risk for cervical cancer. And the other is the pap smear or pap test that most women are familiar with, in which you brush a few cells off the cervix, look at them under the microscope, and look for any abnormalities, which can be due to a whole host of things, but that can show us early precancers and cancers when they can be tested um, for and treated effectively. So we're talking about screening, but we also should talk about vaccinations as well, because I mean, really, this is caused by HPV, as you say, and there is a vaccine. Yes, we have a vaccine to prevent cancer. Wow. Right, right, exactly. <laughs> and so the vaccine that's currently used in our country protects people against seven of the high-risk strains of HPV, which are responsible for over 90% of cervical cancer, as well as a number of other cancers that occur throughout the body in both women and men, including in the head and neck and throat. So it's a really important vaccine to get, but you have to get it before you're exposed in order for it to work. So the CDC recommends that children get this vaccine at 11 or 12 years of age, at which point your body gets a better immune response. You can get by with only two shots. If you wait till you're 15 or older, you need all three in the series to be fully protected. So it's worth it to do it at the younger age, certainly. <laughs> Absolutely. Let's talk about what people at home need to know right now to make sure they're protecting them, their own health, their kids' health. What do they need, the questions they need to ask themselves? How can they protect their families? So women should talk with their individual health care providers to understand the screening recommendations for them. Women under the age of 21 do not need to start being screened yet. Between the ages of um, 21 and 30, the first line test is a pap smear because HPV is so common that we would find it all the time at a time when the body can actually eliminate it on its own. Starting at um, 30 until women are 65, the American Cancer Society recommends that women get tested for both HPV and get a pap smear at the same time because if both those tests are normal, you are highly, highly unlikely to develop cervical cancer in the next five years. So it sounds like the bottom line here is talk to your doctor if for your own health and then talk to your kid's pediatrician about their health and what you need to do when it comes to vaccinations. Exactly. Fantastic. Thank you very much for being here. We appreciate it very much. Uh, Dr. Gina Sakuda with the, uh, uh, Sakato, sorry. I knew I was going to screw it up. I did it the whole time and then I didn't, oh. Uh, with Kaiser Permanente, thank you very much for being here. Such important information. Thank you really for having me. Appreciate it. Uh, Bill, over to you.